Hello everybody, good day. Today we will discuss accident data analysis regression. In last class, you have seen the accident data analysis using control charts. Before that, we have given we have seen the uh, concepts of accident investigation, the data to be collected in during investigation, uh, as well as uh, there are different recommendations. So, today we will uh, discuss regression, it is a very generic general technique, other I can say generic technique for data analysis need not be uh, that limited to accident data analysis. So, as a result uh, any regression lecture will be helpful to understand accident data analysis issues using regression. So, what we will discuss today, we just discuss today the concept of predictive analytics and then what are the different methods used in prediction and then we will discuss on regression and I will show you some of the softwares uh, which are used in prediction or predictive analytics. So, predictive analytics is basically the practice of extracting insights, insights from the existing data set with the help of data mining, statistical modeling and machine learning techniques and using it to predict observe or unknown events. Identifying cause effect relationship across the variables from the historical data, discovering hidden insights and patterns with the help of data mining techniques, apply observed pattern to unknowns in the past, present or future. And this is the, these are the steps what is given in uh, SAS that process cycle of predictive analytics. So, first you define the objectives then uh, uh, data preparation, modeling, development, deployment and then your model monitoring and this is what is the predictive analytics process. Okay. So, just let me get the pointer here, so that we will be able to write something. Okay. So, fine. So, let us see next that what are the different methods. So, you will find out that there are a large number of methods under different groups of prediction methods. One is regression, classification, time series forecasting, association rule mining, clustering, text mining and again under regression some of the techniques, under classification some of the techniques under forecasting some of the techniques, under association rule mining techniques, clustering techniques and your text mining techniques. Okay. So, we will not be able to complete all those things, the purpose of prediction is given to you, but in any one of the class of techniques will be useful here. So, today I will discuss aggression and then we will discuss also classification. Okay. So, what is regression? So, pictorially if you, if you say regression there will be two kinds of variables, the one will be dependent variable, another will be set of independent variable, independent. Dependent variable is one that depends whose values or whose occurrence which depends on the independent variable which are basically affecting this. So, this can be taught in terms of also something like this, these are the causes and this is the effects. Okay. If sufficient information available from cause and effect relationship point of view. So, then uh, the, uh, from the safety uh, or accident data analysis point of view, suppose you want to predict accident incident rate and which is y is incident rate with the help of input variables what is basically the safety initiatives. 
So, different safety initiatives are taken in the industry and also every year or every month there is incident rate data. So, we want to see the relationship between the incident rate and safety initiatives taken then you, you can go for regression analysis ok. And in that case the regression will ultimately talks about the relationship between incident rate and safety initiative where incident rate is function of safety initiatives. So, incident rate is the dependent variable and safety initiatives in terms of different uh, initiatives like your inspection like training other things. So, those are basically responsible for uh, the value or incident rate what you are observing. So, in general uh, this is the equation suppose there are one dependent variable three independent variables x 1, x 2 and x 3. So, then the regression linear regression equation will be y equal to beta 0, beta 1, x 1, beta 2, x 2, beta 3, x 3 plus epsilon. Suppose if there are p number of variables suppose x p, so then what will happen this will be extended to x p beta p x p. Okay. So, <coughs> if you want the more detail about this regression analysis, so then uh, I have a series of lecture also under applied multivariate statistical modeling that NPTEL lecture series on um, multiple regression, multiple linear regression. So, you may go through uh, those videos also. Today, we will not discuss in um, of that depth, we will just show you the application of regression in safety data or accident data analysis. Now, now we will see that suppose we are interested to know that what is the dependent variable is number of injuries per month, number of injuries or incident per month and suppose inspection is one dependent independent variable, training is another and unsafe acts another. So, hypothetically we are um, we, we will collect data, but as, as, uh, if, if good inspection for hazard identification is practiced and hazard removal is practiced, it is it is quite possible that this will ultimately lead to less number of uh, incident per month. Similarly, if people are competent and uh, based on through training their competency level is improved then they will be less involved in accidents and also if you unsafe acts each uh, more then it is a chance that the NYM will be more if it is unsafe acts are co committed unsafe acts are less then that will be thick. Maybe what happened we are assuming that these three are independent but training and unsafe acts number one said there may be some kind of correlation, but for the time being we are assuming that they are independent. So, this is dependent and each of them are independent. Then let us assume this data. Suppose we have collected 30, 30 data points, 30 data and uh, then number of incident per month, then inspection in some it may be number of inspection, training may be number percentage of people trained or number of people trained and unsafe acts number of unsafe acts identified. Means what I mean to say these are the variables which will be measured using appropriate measurement scale. For the timing you please understand that okay, this kind of data are available and you want to know what is NO, relationship between NOIM and inspection training and unsafe acts these data are not real data, they are basically hypothetical data. So, we want to fit the equation. Then first we you everybody will be interested to see that as n y m is the dependent variable, whether the inspection, unsafe acts and training they have any linear relationship or not. The best way to start with the use of scatter plot scatter plot basically having two axis this axis and this axis. So, here x axis is inspection and y axis is NYM which is number of incident per month. So, if you see the observation plot, so there is a decline trend and that decline trend is represented by the straight line. Similarly, for training also there is a decline trend 
and for in for unsafe acts it is increasing trend okay but if you if you see the data from training and you know m that see these are scattered so scattered maybe the the best straight line what is fitted here that may not be a significant fit or may not be able to explain <coughs> much of the variability in NOIM. Nevertheless, this plot ultimately tells you yes, there, there are some um, linear relations and that can be captured through linear regression. So, first tip is scatter plot between dependent and all independent variables. So, then there is the there is the mathematics behind it. So, I will not discuss the mathematics here. So, you do not require to know also the mathematical uh, details of it, but for the time being only you please keep in mind that this is what is what is the <coughs> general form I basically stands for the observation. So, if you have we have 30 observations, so n equal to 30 and this is the equation algebraic form and this is the matrix form of the regression and then when we are writing in matrix form. So, that time basically the y n number of observation x first is the intercept for n number of ones then the variable x 1 variable x 2 like variable x k k number of variables are there. If it is p number of variable you will be ended with by p number of variables. So, as there are k number of independent variables. So, and with intercept. So, there are k plus 1 number of the coefficient between dependent and each of the independent variables. So, that is that is to be estimated which is basically the talking about the relation between a dependent and independent. So, that is represented by beta and this is error term. So, then the ultimate aim will be to minimize the minimize the sum total of errors. So, when you fit the model and then the predicted or predicted value or fitted values and the actual value the difference will be uh, will be considered that is the error and then all sum of all differences the squared differences need to be minimized and that is what is the least square function. So, if you minimize this so ultimately you will get a matrix equation like this where this equation gives you the estimate of the parameters. So, using software you can you can get like mini tab we have used and you will get that NOIM is 7.65 that is beta 0 which is basically the intercept then minus 0.53 into inspection minus 0.23 into training and plus 0.67 into unsafe acts. So, that means, if inspection increases NOIM means it decreases, training is better NOIM decreases, unsafe act is more NOIM will be more. So, that is quite logical and the although the data is hypothetical, but it is giving you conceptually correct result. So, from mathematics point of view everything is given here. <coughs> if you want more mathematics see my that NPTEL lecture on multivariate applied multivariate statistical modeling applied multivariate statistical modeling <coughs> regression series regression is there. Okay. So, we are talking about only linear regression mm, nonlinear regression we are not talking about here. <coughs> <coughs> Then you see that the regression can be done using Minitab or any of the any software. There are many software. So if you want to use uh, so Minitab, so open Minitab, go to statistics, select regression. Then there will be variable selection. One is response, another one is predictors. Under response, you select NYM. Under predictors, you select these three. Then you can select graphs, residual plot, and others. You can say the fit intercept others if any then click ok and results and graphs will be displayed. Okay. So, this is basically the steps using mini tab. Now, if you if you want the snapshot you see that mini tab snapshots given here. So, now ultimately when you are going for that uh, stat then regression 
then ultimately you have to put the response values here, then what are the predictors you are putting here, then what are the plots you want and there are other options also you just click 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 and you will get and this is what is the first part is the data, <coughs> second here the coefficients and here the predicted or fitted values are given and also some errors are given there. Okay. So, if you collect data use Minitab and you will get the solution to regression equation. Okay. Exactly that one we have done here. So, for our data, so what are the issue here? Issue is that <coughs> our dependent variable you know NYM, <coughs> independent variable inspection, training and unsafe acts. So, their contribution in terms of sum square given here and their degrees of freedom are also given there. So, we will not discuss degree of freedom, you will be you just follow some book and so then what happened first is that whether the model is fit to the data or not linear regression. So, you use R square adjusted R square and ANOVA table these three <coughs> three measures we will use. <coughs> So, R square is here 77.1 percent. So, R square talks about that what is the proportion of variance of the dependent variable is explained by the independent variables okay, or by the model regression model. So, what are the proportion of dependent variable is proportion of variance of dependent variable is explained by the regression model. Now, this R square is sensitive to the sample size. So, adjusted R square is computed which is basically insensitive to sample size. Sample size means number of number of observations considered for the model fitting. So, adjusted R square also 74.5 percent. So, it is considering the accident data it is it is a good figure. So, we can say the model is a good model because it is able to explain 77 percent of variance of the dependent variable. Another one is the analysis ANOVA table, ANOVA table having the source of variation. So, and then source is model then error these two, then the model model your F value is 29.20, it is basically hypothesis test that whether the in uh, whether the all the independent variables are insignificant they are not contributing to to the um, prediction or, or to the explanation of the nym y variable or not okay and and then it is 29.20 it is a large value in comparison to the theoretical value so this value to be compared with theoretical value and the theoretical value uh, ultimately, <coughs> your model degrees of freedom is 3, error degrees of freedom is 26. So, then the theoretical value will be 3, f distribution has 2 degrees of freedom, 1 is numerator that is 3 and in denominator degree of freedom. Then you consider a significance level which is alpha, alpha usually alpha is usually 0 0.05 which is talking about the error in accepting the uh, hypothesis. Okay. <clears throat> so, what happened this one this value if I put this equal to F 326 0.05. So, you will get a value which will be much less than this value. So, that means, it talks about that the model is fit to the data. So, that means, linear model is a fit. So, this is the first thing. Then once the data is fit to the model, then you have to check whether the parameters, the coefficient values, the coefficient values they are significant or not. So, how many coefficients are there? There are four coefficients, one is constant intercept, then the, uh, uh, first independent variable, second independent variable, third independent variable or as such k independent variable. Then if you see the coefficient is 7.65, then this is this, this we all know this then their standard error is also computed and then the t value that is the t statistics is used here and corresponding p values are also given means as t value is 3.48. So, it says that the intercept 7.65 is significant 
with probability value 0 0.002 means considering this, this is the influence of the intercept. So, then you are committing only 0 0.002 that is error probability. Okay. Similarly, inspection the value uh, the uh, inter that uh, contribute other way I can say the relationship value is minus 0.53. So, that is that is having only 0 0.009 probability of uh, that not ha having this value. So, similarly for this and this. So, from this parameter test also what we are finding out? we are finding out the all the parameter including intercept they are significant. So, that means, the regression model is accepted from adequacy point of view from parameter test point of view also. Okay. So, you can use this model for prediction purposes. Please keep in mind the data what I have used here these are hypothetical data when you when you collect the real data you may find problem that r square is not adequate some of the some of the con coefficient values are uh, positive, but where in uh, from concept point of view it should be negative and many of the coefficient uh, will not be significant. So, so many issues will be there. So, that requires your in depth and knowledge about regression analysis. Okay. Then, <coughs> then I, I, I just finish this with the interpretation here. So, what is the interpretation? So, your we have accepted this model. So, then <coughs> if you it this negative relationship is justified, negative relationship justified, this is negative, trend is negative, this is positive justified also. Now, what happened? This is basically talking about training and inspection together with NOM some met some cube plot we have shown you. So, the interpretation is that if you improve the training obviously, the number of incident per month will be reduced, improve your inspection that will also reduce and if you reduce the unsafe acts then your number of incident per month will also reduce. Okay. So, uh, that is the way you have to understand the uh, regression things. So, there are many software which can be used like Python, SAS, Minitab, Weka, RapidMiner, SPS, Minitab. So, what, what MATLAB, StatSoft, there are many more uh, things are there. So, uh, now open source software like R is very famous, Python is also very famous and if you see that, um, that uh, commercial software like SAS, that SPSS, Minitab. Mm, MATLAB. So, all those. So, these are the uh, these are the software stats soft etcetera these are the software which will help your uh, analysis easier because you do not require to understand uh, in depth mathematical treatment of regression. Okay. So, that is a that is a good thing um, to happen. So, <coughs> thank you very much. I, I hope that you understand what I try to um, tell you here is that you if you have data then data consists of pattern plus error this pattern to be can be predicted to be predicted there are a large number of prediction models one of them is regression. So, if you use regression uh, then there are the different steps. So, the regression can be linear, can be non-linear, linear and non-linear regression. So, we have seen the multiple linear regression only, multiple linear regression. So, that the steps is that you first conceptualize the dependent and independent variables, then collect the relevant data then understand the uh, use software, understand the math mathematical basis or basic mathematics, put the data into the software that and then you will get a regression equation. Then you have to feed the find the fitness of the model through R square adjusted R square or F test you can do that. Then you do the test of parameters that means each of the independent variable coefficient values to be tested using T state. 
if all those things permit uh, you that the model is fit and parameters are significant, then use this model for prediction purposes. So, as if you have a model like y equal to beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 like this. So, then a new y nu given x nu independent nu independent observ observation related then you will be able to find out that what will be the new y. So, that is nothing but suppose I have you have done develop a model considering last 5 years data. So, they may be in the monthly data may be next month what will be the uh, number of in incident in the plant what the for which you have considered then fit the fit the values like training value, uh, inspection value and unsafe acts value in the equation and then the equation will give you what is the what will be the NOIM or number of um, incident per month for the next month or subsequently in other months also. So, that is the way you have to use the model. Thank you very much.